Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, teachers and graduates. We welcome you to the gradu graduation ceremony of the class of 20 to 20, also known as the class of Corona. I mean, how could we not talk about it? And we thought it couldn't get any worse when the tornado hit. How about worldwide pandemic? But hey, enough about what ended our senior year. Those last three months we will never get back. For most of us, we don't remember how our last day of school went because we had no idea what was about to happen. We didn't know that we wouldn't be able to see our friends or our teachers inside those walls again. It was hard to come to terms with that. No basketball playoffs, no prom, no, prom, no pep rallies, no senior field day, no graduation, so they said. And even today, we don't have our whole class here as we're trying to be within safe distance of each other. A year ago, this was unthinkable. With that being said, Underclassmen and graduates do not take anything for granted. We can get through anything and you can do anything you put your mind to with a will and desire to do so. So as our chapter has come to a close, thank you Lebanon High School. Thank you to our teachers and faculty, to our lunch ladies and janitors, to everyone that has contributed to the overall atmosphere at Lebanon. Thank you Dr. Walters for being our fearless leader that we could count on when times got rough. Thank you, McPete, for holding us down, and Burton for keeping it real. From the eggnog to the fight club, we are all sitting here having come out of the last four years changed and evolved in many ways. There has been a little, of, little bit of everything thrown our way. Our walls are not blank, but very, very colorful. Once a blue devil. Always a blue devil. So if you would please stand and remove your hats, except for graduates, for the invocation, please remain standing for the pledge and the national anthem. All right, join me in praying, please. Dear six pound, nine ounce baby Jesus, thank you for letting us make it to this day. Thank you for giving us a great four years at Lebanon High School. I pray, Lord, that you will be with us through these hard times. I pray that these times not divide us, but they bring us closer together as families, friends, and as a community as a whole. Let these times not break us down, but build us up for a prosperous future. I pray, Lord, that you do not let us take anything for granted, but you let us see how truly blessed we are. Thank you, Lord, for sending your son to die on the cross so we have something to live for. Lord, put your hand on each and every person here. Help guide us through these hard times in the world we live in today, Lord. Show us the way to live for you. I pray all this in your great and powerful name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, class of 2020 graduate, Briley Evans, singing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets rank glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land Good afternoon. Welcome to the 102nd class commencement exercise in the long and proud history of Lebanon High School. We're here this uh, afternoon to honor this 2020 graduating class. At this time, I would like to introduce a special guest behind the podium. Please stand when your name is called. We have uh, Dr. Donna Wright, Director of Wilson County Schools. 
Dr. Katherine Bergen, uh, Supervisor of Curriculum for Wilson County Schools. Mr. Larry Tomlinson, Chairman of the Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 5. Mr. Bill Robinson, Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 2. Mr. Chad Carl, Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 7. And Mr. Mike Waltney, Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 3. Thank you. A group that it has been a, pri a privilege and blessing for me to be their leaders are faculty, assistant principals, and staff. If you all would please stand. That's you on the, on the black robes over there. Thank you. I would like to recognize Ms. Sergeant Crystal Lindsay, who has been chosen Teacher of the Year by her peers for Lebanon High School. Please stand, Sergeant Lindsay. As you know, this is a tightly knit community, and our school leans heavily on it for support and as a source of pride. At this time, I would like for all Lebanon High School alumni and the bleachers to please stand. We're on the field. Thank you. Now I would like for all our senior students who are going into the military service to please stand. And also those in the audience who, are, who have served or are presently serving in the military, please stand. Thank you so much for your service. Well, graduates, I would be remiss if I did not address some of the goings on that we are facing today. It does and will continue to affect your futures. I hope that through all of this, we emerge as better versions of ourselves on the other side. Do not let someone else make you think otherwise. Maya Angelou told us, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. We're all learning how to do better now. Before hearing from our speakers, our student speakers, I want to share a short passage with you from St. Francis of Assisi from early 13th century. It is his prayer of peace. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Mr. Jack Dodson is the 2020 class salutatorian. I've asked John, uh, Jack to deliver the Lebanon High School's class of 2020 welcome address. I'm very nervous right now. So if you don't mind, please don't look at me guys. Uh, phone. Uh, you can zone out completely if you want to. Just uh, don't look at me. Moving forward. Hello, I'm Jack Dotson. You might know me. I'm this class's uh, salutatorian. I did not know what that meant, but um, I've been informed it means I got second place, which I didn't know this whole thing was a race, so that's kind of cool. Um, my mom told me to make this short and sweet because I'm not first place, so I would like to give a little quote that I think sums up our time here at Lebanon High School especially uh, the last couple of months. Here it goes. Is that an iceberg? Mm, I don't think so. Two guys on the Titanic. Thank you. That was one of the most memorable speeches I believe we've heard at a ceremony. So, uh, Will Mr. Mitchell Ballard now present the literary reading to the class of 2020? Thank you, Dr. Walters. This tassel's in the way. Um, hello, class of 2020. Milestone in our story. This graduation ceremony marks here at So the people on the side today is from Thomas J. Watson, CEO of IBM, regarding success. 
Would you like me to give you a formula for success? It's quite simple, really. Double your rate of failure. You're thinking of failure as the enemy of success, but it isn't at all. You can be discouraged by failure, or you can learn from it. So go ahead and make mistakes. Make all you can, because remember, that's where you'll find success. So always remember to take failure for what it is, a learning experience that brings us one step closer to success. Congratulations, class of 2020. Will uh, Mr. North Hopper, the 2020 class valedictorian, now address uh, the class of 2020 in their farewell? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is North Hopper, and I am grateful to be the valedictorian for Lebanon High School class of 2020. I know that today is not a normal graduation, and that 2020 has been far from an ordinary year. I also know that it is disappointing to only be graduating in front of half of your peers with a limited number of family and friends. Four weeks after it was announced that we would not be returning to school this year, I would think back at my last day as a student at Lebanon High School. I was sick, tired, and barely talked to anyone. All I wanted to do was sleep. But I still had to attend um, track practice and do makeup work from the previous week. After I was finally able to go to sleep, I was awakened at 1 in the morning by tornado sirens. Fortunately, the tornado missed my house, but I struggled to fall back asleep as my cell service went out before I was able to confirm that all of my friends were okay. After this event, I was moved to see our community come together as we began to clean up after the storm and support each other. The school was closed due to power outages, but we still had rehearsal for the 9 to 5 musical and track practices over spring break to provide socialization and normalcy for me. Then, as we all know, everything was put on hiatus so we could create and maintain the new standard of social distancing. Now, we all experience quarantine differently, but I expect everyone can agree that is not how any of us expected our senior year to end. However, one day, when I was thinking how miserable I felt on my last day of high school, I remembered the reason I was so sleep deprived was because I, was because I had just spent five days as an officer in the Youth and Government Conference, which was one of the most enjoyable experiences of my time in high school and a perfect send-off for a club I had been an active member in since freshman year. This made me realize that we did miss the second half of the spring semester of our senior year. That was only one sixteenth of the high school experience. The first time I saw OHS on a great night, my plan for the future was to become a famous Minecraft YouTuber. I had no idea what an AP exam was, but that night, as soon as I heard Mr. Crawley say that AP Human Geography was the most failed one, I knew I was going to take it. The class of 2020, was also the only class of 8th graders to be invited to the Moving On Up prep rally, which the student body welcomed us with gifts that we would have very much appreciated if we were Irish farmers in the 1840s. Freshman year, I was very socially awkward, and I largely hated going to school every day, but on the bright side, after a visit to the dermatologist and the application of several prescription strength acne medications, I was able to get my face as clear and as smooth as sandpaper. However, throughout high school, I learned to reach out more. I joined the track team, National Honor Society, Student Council, Youth and Government Science and Read, and uh, Visually Theater, and helped start our um, improv club. I made friends and experiences that were, um, ended up being way more worthwhile than had I done nothing. And then based on a recommendation made when I had just raced two miles and was too focused on trying to breathe normally to process anything, I asked a girl to junior prom. Despite how awkward I was then, I'm grateful that she is to this day putting up with me and my rants mostly about the movie Interstellar and the fact that Lemon Lime Gatorade is the color green. But that was just my high school story, and so much has been accomplished by others. The track team won district, the girls basketball team made the state tournament, and so many other students, clubs, and teams made accomplishments that I would have been aware of if I paid attention to the announcements. If I were to thank every person who had helped me in high school by name, then I would be here for far too long. So I would like to extend my sincerest thanks and appreciation to everyone here, whether that be my family, who has been incredibly supportive of me and has empowered me to be the person I am today, the teachers and other faculty of the school who have opened my mind to new information, ideas, and opportunities who care not only about the subject they are teaching, but also about the hundreds of different students they see every year. To my close colleagues that have made high school enjoyable, do I know are there to support me and or send high quality memes. And finally, to everyone here who I don't know very well or have never met, for each of your contributions to Lebanon High School, whether that be through academics, sports, extracurriculars, or just by showing up and bringing everything great about you as an individual to the student body. We all had our own high school journey, and while sometimes those journeys separated us, ultimately here today they brought us together, both with half the class physically present and as a whole. While the coronavirus epidemic and social distancing restrictions affected every person here differently, it did to some degree affect all of us. Even though we are physically separated, the shared experience has brought us closer and bonded us in only a way something of this magnitude could. 
Every generation and every person has their own obstacles, but the world around us does not have to define who we are or who we will become. The world is different now than it was a year ago, but change is the world's nature. Without change, we would still be living in caves and foraging for food. We often look back on history as a straight line of forward progress, but in reality, it was far from that. There are plentiful harvests and massive droughts, huge technological advancements and devastating tragedies. While the earth does throw curveballs, the vast majority of change, good and bad, is made by people. And now, we are adults, which means willingly or not, we are in control of what our future is going to be. This is why I urge all of you to remember at times like these, when the world is already trying its hardest to pull us down, we always remember to lift each other up. Every one of you has a different past and is going into a different future. I have the same amount of life experience as everyone else graduating today, so I can't give blanket words of advice that will apply to all of you as you set out to continue the next steps of your journeys. So I'm going to recommend one thing. For all of the choices you make, make sure they are your own. Do not live a life that is not true to who you are. Make sure that you are the one in control. Do not look to the collective for a sense of identity and so forth. My recommendation is to go out into the world and try to accomplish something you're passionate about and get gives you a sense of purpose. If it means something to you, it'll mean something to the world. To finally conclude my speech, this year has not gone as planned. However, despite the tornado, despite the lockdown, and despite recommendations from scientists, we are all here today to graduate and honor each other. Regardless of how you got here and where you're going, that is an achievement and you should be proud. I am proud of every person graduating today and excited to see what each of you is going to contribute to this world. And remember, once a blue devil, always a blue devil. Being a part of a community school such as Lebanon High School is something that is very special. Our goal is that every student has an equal opportunity to develop as a total person. We feel that we're big enough to deliver an abundance of opportunities, but still small enough to care about the individual. This is the eighth graduating class from our new building. Of course, they will be remembered for uh, their wild student section themes and their top rated culinary, FFA, book club, business leader, and athletic skills that earn them trips to state and national competitions. And typically, I ask teachers what the graduating class will be most remembered for. But this is one particular class that I know very well. You may all remember it quite well, but during your sophomore year, I was ready for you to graduate then. It was a difficult year. There was loss. There was conflict. There was a lot of hurt. But what I saw over the course of those last three years specifically was your beautiful development into young adults. What we will remember this class for is their growth, maturity, loyalty, school spirit, and sense of responsibility that they displayed while they were students here. This class is particularly uh, memorable to me. The journey you have all taken to get here today has been formative to say the least, and for me as well because we did it together. The ups and the downs, the stress and the fun, the wins and the losses. This is a class that I will personally never forget. The class before me took on their high school experience with their heads held high. They have grown from timid and squirrely freshmen that I met in the theater on August 1st, 2016 to the young men and women before you today. Thank you guys. They have pride in their school and they make sure others know it. They have taught me a lot about what it means to be a blue devil and that it is something they will not let others take away from them. Most importantly, the class of 2020 has continued to show academic gains that make Lebanon High School one of the top schools in the state of Tennessee. And that's not something I just made up. I actually received a plaque in the mail this week to prove it. The graduating class of 2020 has accomplished much and developed many characteristics that will take them, now that does make them special. The commencement program addresses many of these accomplishments. I would like to recognize a few of these special groups in the class of 2020. Would the 62 Tennessee scholars please stand and remain standing? 290 Hope Scholars please stand and remain standing. Hope Scholars are students who have a 3.0 or better GPA or a 21 or higher on the ACT. To provide some perspective, this class has nearly 100 more Hope Scholars than the class of 2019. So, it's awesome. Please be seated. Give these scholars a round of applause. We are smart. We use our brains until they hurt. 
We intend every day to leave the building tired from our purposeful work. That has been our goal every day this year. And of course, every day we want to learn something. No matter how difficult our futures may look, that's always possible. I know I'm still learning. This class embodies the pride, spirit, tradition, vision of LHS. The class of 2020 has 119 students that have a GPA of 4.0 or better, with an additional 165 that have a 3.0 or better. They've taken advantage of our many advanced placement, dual enrollment, honors, and career tech offerings. This class has the highest average ACT composite in school history. Their composite is a whole point above the Tennessee state average and is over the state average in every subtest of the ACT as well. This next uh, number is much higher than I'm reporting today because we were not able to get with every uh, student this spring semester. Uh, but what they've reported to us is that they've accepted over $7 million in scholarship money to attend more than 56 different colleges, technical schools, and universities for a total of just over 90% pursuing post-secondary educational opportunities. Additionally, 3% will enter the military and 7% will enter the workforce. This class has met every challenge with character, pride, and dignity. They are expected to be responsible leaders throughout their lives. Class of 2020, would you please stand and repeat after me? I, state your name, will remember as a graduate of Lebanon High School to live my life with a pride in self, a spirit to succeed, and a tradition of excellence. Please remain standing. This is a very special time, and I would encourage everyone to show honor and dignity towards our graduates. I would like to make a statement at this time regarding decorum. We have many family members and friends who have traveled long distances or are watching from home to see a moment that lasts about 10 seconds. Although we are currently using an athletic arena as our stage, please remember that this is not an athletic event, but a formal ceremony that lasts but a short time. We wish to treat this occasion with formality and sophistication. Applause for each graduate should be kept to a minimum without the use of air horns or noisemakers until the appropriate time. After each name is called, there will be a slight pause before moving on to the next name. And since this is an important time for LHS, we want every family to enjoy and take great pride when their child's name or their graduate's name is called as they cross the stage to receive their diploma. At the appropriate time, we will then allow a moment for what I like to call unrestrained jubilation, and I hope that they can hear you all the way in Nashville then. Graduates, this will be a little different. I'm going to put on my gloves and my mask, and we're going to elbow bump. I'm sorry. Um, rather than the traditional handshake, I'm just happy that we're able to be here today and uh, we're going to still observe some caution. Uh, we now prepare for the presentation of diplomas. Dr. Wright, if you would join me at the podium. It is with great pride that I present to you a highly motivated, collaborative thinking, problem-solving class of future leaders that are extremely proud to have completed their high school career. This is the Lebanon High School class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Walters. By the authority vested in me by the State Board of Education and the Wilson County School Board, I have searched or caused to be searched the records on file of each of the seniors whose names shall be publicly announced. And I certify that each of these students has met at least the minimum requirements for graduation from Lebanon High School as established by each of the previously mentioned agencies and is eligible to receive a diploma of graduation. In the eyes of the principals and teachers of this school, we have determined that the following students have attained an approved attendance, conduct, and subject matter record which covers a 12-year program as established by the records on file in the offices of Lebanon High School. Seniors, please be seated. Thank you, Dr. Wright. We will now proceed with the presentation of your individual diplomas. Diego Gallegos Abad. Philip Douglas Adams in absentia. Addison Grace Alford. Anna Isabella Allen. Courtney Alexandra Allen. 
Dawson, Tyler, Allen, Jeff Quez, DeMont, Allen, Caitlin, Michelle, Allen, Jacob, Allen, Allums, Jocelyn, Amador, Lopez, Ian, Joseph, Anderson, Rebecca, Jane, Apple. Louisa, Estrella, Estrella, Arvalo. Claudia, Renee, Aquin. Colin, Spencer, Aquin. Gerardo, Romero, Ayala, and Absentia. Piper, Ray, Bailey. Mason, Hugh, Baines. Jonathan, Charmus, Baker. Ira, Mitchell, Ballard. Joanna, Garcia, Barrera. Moses, Barrera. Jennifer, Barrera, Garcia. Hunter Ray Barrett. Tamia Soleil Bates. Michael Jordan Bain. Anna Carissa Bazadola. Isabella Grace Bean. Molly Isabel Harmony Begley. Ethan Hunter Bentley, James Peyton Benton, Timothy Thomas Booker, Casey Michelle Berg, Cody Allen Biggs, Robert Cole Bilbrey in absentia, Lily Caitlin Binkert, Jalen Binion, Benjamin Chase Birdwell, Bryson Douglas Blackburn, Marissa Sky Bloom, Ellen Grace Bobo, Brian Scott Bogle, Grace Ann Booth, Justin Dwayne Bohannon in absentia. Brandon Alexander Boza. Luke Allen Bradshaw. Daniel Baxter Brady. Jemiah Branch. Rebecca Elizabeth Brandt. Miles Thomas Brewer. Shakara Wanisha Britton, Damian Blake Brown, Rebecca Renee Brown, Kiana Angelina Brown, Grace Noel Bruce, Samuel David Buck. Justin Avery Tyler Birch, Jackson Adam Burdine, Jackson Kai Burke, Colby Lane Burnett, Kylie Don Burton, Angel Calderon, Karen Calderon, Justice Allen Caldwell, Keelan DeMonte Calhoun, Noelia Campos, Campos Rojo, Quataja Mariana Carey, 
Cameron Kent Carr, Sloan Mitchell Carr, Alexis Diane Carter in absentia, Olivia Brooke Carver, Jackson West Case, Angelica Lynn Castro, Dominic Belton Salucci, Marion McKenzie Cheatham, Dallas Adrian Cheeseman, Wesley Scott Christian, Alexander O'Neill Clemens, William Jerry Alante Tazel Coggins, Keevan Lamont Collier in absentia, Allison Brooke Collins, Caitlin Angel Collins, Jeffrey Dalton Cook, Elijah Breeze Copas, Mitchell Wayne Corley II, Zachary Ryan Cottingham. Jacob Lee Crichton in absentia. Kevin Daniel Cresswell. Micah Wade Cummins in absentia. Kylan Andrew Cunningham. Olivia Marsh, Marisha Janae Danko. Rihanna Lane Diamond Davenport. Daniel Alberto Davila. Ali Nicole Davis. Dominic Leon Davis. Marion Jose Davis. Mario De La Cruz Salas Jr. Kelsey Lynn DeArmond. Elise Catherine Demore in absentia. Mary Mystique Desjardins. Caitlin Leanne Devinney. Jack Dalton Dodson. Quamisha Renee Du Bois. Gracie Elizabeth Edens. Laramie May Eisenstein. Haley Marie Engel. Victor Hugo Esparza Jr. Briley Nicole Evans. Chiquita Pamicia Evans. Richie Taylor Evans. Alex Ray Faircloth. Madison Alyssa Faulkner. Mitchell Jacob Ferguson. Easton Gage Farrell. Robert Cole Finch. Trinity Ann Fisak. Jacob Ernest Fisher. Michael Chandler Flesh. Mason Jamal Fletcher. Charles Wesley Floyd. Sicaria Wilmarie Fonseca. Brian Lane Foster. Ariana Janae Beth Fowler. Carol Ann Elizabeth Fox. Alicia Kiana Francis. Kiara Dayton Fudge in absentia. Addison Dakota Fuller. Braden Wayne Fuller. Eric Michael Fung. Alexis Galvez. Victoria Scarlett Gammons. Paul Brock Gann. 
Daniel Alexander Garcia, Shaylin Hope Gardner, David Marcus Gardner, Jonathan Lloyd Gass in absentia, Holly Beth Gentry, Jada Rihanna Gillum, Makasha Nicole Gillum, Zara Ginez Ramos, Ana Isabel Gonzalez Davila, Abby Christine Gore, Haley Michelle Gravens, David Russell Green, Grayson G. Gregory, Jaytez J. Gregory, Shelby Jean Gregory, Alyssa Michelle Gully, Abraham Jose Guzman, Corbin Michael Hagman, Azura Sue Haley, Brooke Elena Haley, Roshea Janae Hall, Gabriel Aaron Wayne Hampton, Kristen Leslie Harding, Caitlin Grace Harper, Bailey Christine Harris, Dylan Jason Harris, Braden Sloan Harrison, Emmeline Marie Hashimura, Marquezion Devon Hastings, Cullen Crockett Haverstick, Kelly Joe Hetty, Anne Marie Ling Heidebright, Soria Marlene Hernandez, Sean Patrick Heron in absentia, Destiny Hope Hicks, Emmy Madison Hicks, Tajiri Leandre High, Zariah Aza Apriest High, Dalton Joseph Height, Laredo Lene Hickson, Kensley Marie Hollinsworth. Michaela Page Holt in absentia. Charles North Hopper. Andrew Joseph Horan. Austin Lane Horton. Iris Flora Hubert. Jacob Hackett Hudson. Delaney Nicole Hunter. Giovanni Hurtado. Iseli Irizari, excuse me. Emilian Lakaya Jamiche, Jasmiche Jackson. Cheyenne Marie Jackson. Remington Hank Jenkins. Sierra Nicole Johns in absentia. Mary Catherine Johnson. Colby Lane Jones. Emily Jones, Ethan Richard Jones in absentia, Jocelyn Jones, Morgan Elizabeth Jones, Claudia Kalai, Ethan William Keith, Jada Phelan Kelly, Tyson J. Kelly, Nathan Alexander Kemp, Colby James Kidwell, Savannah Essie Keys, Madeline Faith Kimball, Amber Joyce Kirby, Sean Wilson Knight, Cade Michael Kurtz,
All right. I have asked Sergeant Lindsay to come lead you all in the traditional tassel ceremony. If you would, graduates, please stand. As a member of the Lebanon High School faculty, it is a pleasure to, to be involved in the Lebanon High School class of 2019 graduation. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't edit that note right there, I'm sorry. 2020 graduation, I'm sorry guys. We are extremely proud of what each of you has accomplished. At this time, please stand and join me in the traditional tassel ceremony. Seniors, move your tassel from right to left. Thank you, Sergeant Lindsay. I would now like to direct your attention to your programs that you, so that you can sing along to the alma mater. In the dawning light and at eve, on a scholarship to the cleave, now as lovingly we depart, Thou wilt ever be in our heart. Praise we raise for all to see. Grace esteem eternally. As the years go by, we'll be true to our Lebanon white and blue. Now everyone, it is time to make some noise for the graduating class of 2020. All right, kids, stay in your seat. Dr. Seuss tells us you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the ones who will decide where to go. As always, graduates, it is important for you to remember who you are, where you come from, and who you represent. I know you're all gonna go out there into this world and make us look good. Although after today you are no longer students at Lebanon High School, remember that once a Blue Devil, always a Blue Devil. Graduates, as you exit the field, you will receive your actual diplomas and may meet your family in the parking lot to leave campus. But stay in line and stay in alphabetical. <laughs>
Thank you.